A persistent debate revolves around whether China is a democracy or not. Critics often lament the fact that key policies seem to be orchestrated behind closed doors by party elites. China's democracy actually features aspects that are representative and electoral. It's referred to as whole process people's democracy or democracy with Chinese characteristics. However, to grasp the essence of democracy in China, it is imperative to delve into its historical roots and understand its rationale. Following the revolution of 1911, there were multiple attempts by China to adopt Western political systems such as uh, parliamentary, multi-party or presidential systems, all of which failed. On October 1, 1949, the People's Republic of China was founded, marking the transformation from a millennia-long feudal autocracy to a people's democracy. For the first time in history, the Chinese people became masters of the country. In 1954, the first constitution of New China was adopted at the first National People's Congress, or MPC. The People's Congress system was established. How does it work? The MPC is the highest organ of state power. It creates all administrative, supervisory, judicial and procuratorial organs of the state. Deputies to People's Congresses are elected every five years. Those at township and county levels are directly elected by the public, while deputies to the higher levels are elected from among candidates at the next lower level. In 2023, there were altogether about 2.8 million deputies to People's Congresses at all levels. 95% of them were directly elected by voters. And there are a total of over 1 billion voters in China. Other forms of elections also take place. For instance, rural and urban residents elect members to community committees to manage their own affairs. By 2020, all villages and urban communities in China had elected such committees, numbering over 600,000 in total. As to political parties, China has nine political parties, including the ruling party, the CPC, and eight non-communist parties. In China, political parties don't compete for the power to govern, which ensures continuity of policies. The eight non-communist parties work together with and under the leadership of the CPC in order to create synergy in exercising state power. Members of these parties and those without party affiliation account for a certain percentage of legislators at all levels, some occupying leading posts in state organs. Every year, thousands of top legislators and political advisers meet in Beijing to submit motions and proposals on how to improve governance. From 2018 to 2023, the central government adopted a total of 18,000 suggestions and proposals tabled by national lawmakers and political advisers, 40% of which became policy measures. In a nutshell, China's democracy is born out of its traditional wisdom and tested by time. It is the choice of the Chinese people. It may be new for some, but it has worked wonders for China and continues to deliver.